Well, hi, it's Jomar here. It's been a while, actually, I think, since I've last been able to put something up here for you. And, uh, well, I just haven't really had either. Mostly just timing, I think. It's been... Well, when was the last time I did something, actually? It's been a while. I mean, I did an interview back in September for the station, and I posted that up here for you, but I think that's as far as it's gone. So, I mean, hey, how have you been? <laughs> it's probably what I could start with. Uh, so, first off, you know, you'll probably notice that there is no video so far, and I guess it's intentional somewhat. Also, I mean, I, I wanted to put up something and try something out just to see how uh, things are still going for my case. Uh, but, you know, it was it was somewhat intentional. But, uh, well, partially because I feel a little bit sick right now, somewhat. I'm not sure if I really do, so you'll probably see if there was a video, you can just visualize probably me sitting on a couch, and if you were to look at my face right now, it's probably partially red by where my nose is, just above the upper lip. Uh, but don't worry about that. Uh, the, the, the whole point of this is not for me to talk about how I look right now, and, I mean, that wouldn't really matter much. The whole purpose, I guess, is kind of just me sitting around and trying to talk for about 10, 20 minutes. We'll see how long this goes for. Uh, but basically, yeah, I'm just going to try and see if I can do this very, very unplugged version of myself. I mean, obviously, there could be, I could have edited any of this stuff out and tried to, but I think we'll try and let this run for about, you know, 10, 20 minutes, maybe. Make it seem a bit, a little more conversational, I guess, a little more than what my previous videos may have been. And sometimes, you know, it could just be audio. That's all it takes. That's all you got to do just to listen to someone talking or, you know, probably take it as a Almost, yeah, like a conversation. Except if I were to give you the idea as to what's happening right now, just to visualize my surrounding. So first you could imagine what I'm doing right now. I'm just, yeah, basically sitting on a couch. It's about, it's a three-seater couch, uh, sofa, and uh, yeah, I'm just sitting in the middle. Right now what I'm looking at, and if I probably had a camera that I would be moving around to show you the scenery, I'm sitting in my basement right now of my of my place currently, so I'm back in mind for the time being. If you, uh, I'll tell you a little more about it later, but for now, just to set the scene for you, I'm just sitting here. If I were to pan a camera, let's pretend that the camera was facing me and I were to spin it around, let's say. You'd see another couch, a few couches on my left, so you're right probably, and you'd see some furniture, mostly, well, couches or furniture too, I mean, um, wooden shelves and cabinets and that sort of thing on my right, so your left, and immediately behind the camera is a stand, where there's a table, there's a, just a coffee table, and then a stand where a television would have been, but that television is actually currently upstairs in our living room. So anyway, this probably isn't making any sense to you at all, I'm just going on again, we're just trying to fill up about 10 minutes, so uh, I can, you could probably already see that I've gone a little more than a minute just talking about the scenery. You can only imagine how quickly this might probably fly through. But anyway, you probably haven't quite figured out what the purpose of me doing this is. I'm, again, it's just very, very casual, very conversational. So I'll just tell you probably a little bit of an update as to what I've been doing. I mean, since my last actual video, if, the, if you don't count any of the radio footage, I think the last one I did was back in May. I think it was the one where I was uh, trying to make makeshift uh, background music or something like that. I think that's the one. I think it was. I'm, I I would actually check my phone right now and see, but I think that might be really awkward, just leaving these moments of dead air. And, I mean, right now it's it'd be pretty dead, but if you heard the furnace going off, and it comes on every, I think, five, ten minutes just to heat it up. So I think when I was testing before I ran this official clip, it it was going off and I could hear it. It almost sounds like uh, I'm outside or something, but really I'm not. I'm just in the comfort of my own home. Well, well although I may not necessarily feel comfortable myself. I, oh, I'm comfortable. Don't worry about it, though. Um, but yeah, I was going off on the video. So the last one I did was back in May. And uh, I, that was, yeah, that was the one where I was making the, the makeshift uh, background music, I'm pretty sure. So you think about that, that's about almost more than I actually think it's more than a year. I mean, no, half a year, rather. It's about six months, because from June through to December, that's six, seven months, roughly. Twelve, uh, yeah, so seven, about maybe nine, because February, March, April, May, yeah, about nine months, roughly, now. So three quarters of a year, actually, since my last actual posting. So this is sort of, I guess, a recap of content, and just so you can kind of hear what's been going on. I mean... The biggest uh, thing probably is you, you'd think that I'd probably be in my third year now, and I would be in my third year at university and taking up my courses. But actually, I am on a co-op now, so or an internship, whatever a term you may know it by. Uh, originally, it started for four months, and I was going to do it in September and go up until December. But then I extended, and I have been, and I'm planning on extending through till August. So I don't really start class until 
next September, this coming September, really. But, you know, it's it's just been, it's almost like, you know, the working world is a very different world. And I've just, I guess, been so busy and uh, really have felt it because you're, you're, you're working from 8 to 4 and actually, in my case, really 7.30 to 4 or 4.30. And, you know, it's just, you you basically go through the regular routine. You, you get up in the morning, early in the morning, and it's been getting me back into my discipline of being able to try and get up in the morning, which about ha- happens probably 80% of the time, <laughs> to be absolutely honest. Uh, but yeah, you, you get up, you take the commute going in, you do your work, you come back out again through commute, and you head home. And by the time you get home, and for my case at least, I get home, I just have my dinner, and probably that's about it, maybe about an hour or two is, is spent probably preparing for the following day, maybe sitting down, maybe doing a crossword or two or something, or probably not sipping coffee anymore, but, you know, stuff like that. And the day just goes, flies you by. So really the only time I ever get, and I, I guess I see why, you know, anybody in the working world, you, you, you may not necessarily be an adult yet. You could be you could be doing a part-time job or a full-time job as a student, perhaps, if you're listening to this right now. And um, yeah, it just it just comes right to you. You know, you, you'll see that, that time is just really, it just flies by. I think you could just probably call it that. Um, but yeah, so hence why I haven't been able to do much. The most I've been doing is reruns. So the last video I posted up was something that I did actually back in January. You can probably hear now what I mean by the uh, furnace going off. Uh, it's going to get a little bit louder, so <laughs> this isn't the end of it yet. But anyway, I was just uh, just going off in that. So it's just now that I've actually been able to gather the time to sit down and do something. I really wish I could go and do up a video for this, but not that I'm uncomfortable showing that I look probably partially sick. I, don't know, I mean, I just keep my fingers crossed that I'm not really. It's just more of, uh, I'd probably say, just a cold. You can probably hear it in my voice a little bit, not too much, but, you know, stuff like that. So it's just, I've just been doing my usual matters, you know. Um, Nothing much I could really see there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I, I will see, though, it's been pretty good. I, I'm. It's not a boring job. It's not uh, supposed to be something that's supposed to make you bored, you know, to give you too little or too much to do. Or, you know, I, well, I mean, too little more so. The, the uh, too much to be more of an overstress. It's a good balance, I'd say. Because there are some days when you're just taking it easy and you're probably be, being able to catch up on some of your... Uh, um, let's say, backlogs or outstanding tasks, but then there are some days when it really picks up and, you know, you never know what happens. So I guess these kind of these kinds of environments are not too bad. There goes... I think this is the furnace in full view, so that's what's been happening so far. <laughs> but, yeah. So that's been a bit of me. I. It's funny, though, because now I think about it, it, this just occurred to me. I kind of just feel like I'm sitting and talking to myself in a cell. Obviously, this is no cell by any means, but... It's it's really funny because you know I I just sort of think about it. If I were to remove myself from my current person and you kind of just pretend I was looking through a camera lens that was looking at my person at where I am right now, I'd look completely insane. <laughs> but then again, I guess if I were to try and pretend as if this was a radio microphone and I was actually at the station, perhaps, and the background noise could have been the music or something like that, then it could just be an ordinary day back at the station, but I haven't been there in quite some time actively. The last time I was in that station was, I think, in April. So, yeah, it's been it's been a fair amount of time. I won't be going back there until, again, September, uh, but I do look forward to it, and I really actually do miss the station because I, get to, I got to discover a lot of tracks that are actually some of my favorite ones now. And uh, just just the the exposure to being on the air has been really fun. But, you know, this gives me an opportunity to get a little bit creative and try some different things. Things, uh, and for example, this. I'm just, I just said, basically, I mean, I guess you could kind of call this the reason. I, I just said, I have time. I'll go sit down and let this run for about 10, 20 minutes. We'll see how long this really goes for. I can't quite foresee exactly how much time it will go for, but... Maybe we could count the amount of furnace cycles, and then I'll probably say after five furnace cycles, Joe Mar, you got to go ahead and hurry up. <laughs> you know, so... But all the more, it's just to just to be able to provide something. To maybe just put something out there for you, just to uh, hear me again. Not so much see me again. Obviously, if you're annoyed at my voice, and you probably don't want to hear me at all, uh, well... Thanks for stopping by. You're welcome to go ahead and tune into a different area. Well, obviously not really tune into a different station, but more of just 
you can flip the video anytime if you find my ranting going off. Uh, extremely boring, extremely annoying, or aggravating for whatever reason, possibly. But, I mean, for me, it's just, I'm just sitting here and seeing what happens. No, there is something, though, that I guess you'd probably come to know. If I do this, and I think, I just realized this now as well, I fear, I think that'll be the, the recurring theme. It'll just be things that I realize right at the, at the spur of the moment when I'm doing these things. One thing that I'm notorious for is, some, is that very often, more often than not, I'll actually lose my train of thought. So, it's happened in some videos before, it's happened in some cases where I'd probably just be practicing and rolling a tape, maybe about three minutes long, and just talking as if I was on a conversation, probably just to, just to practice, you know, and uh, just to get a little more comfortable with, uh, not so much the presentation or the conversation aspect, but more of... I guess you could say just being able to articulate things properly. Sometimes I'll just go ahead and start talking, and all of a sudden I just lose my train of thought. You know, I'll think, I was just on a subject, and then all of a sudden it'll just stop like midway, and then it just hits you. You think, what was I just talking about? Sometimes I'll be talking with my, even my coworkers, and I feel so bad for them. I, I, I really do apologize. You know, if, if, you, if, you, if you're uh, one of my coworkers listening to this right now, <laughs> get ready. If I, uh, tomorrow's a work day, and to give you some context, uh, this, uh, this is taped up on the 24th of February, a Sunday, so the following day we got some work happening. But anyway, point aside, you're probably going to see how I lose train of thought. Just invite me to a break or something, and <laughs> you'll come to see. But anyway, yeah, I just, uh, I just lose it easily. Sometimes I'll jump from topic to topic, and then I'll completely forget exactly what I was talking about in the first place. And lo and behold, by the time we finish the conversation, I'll think, where in the world have we gone to? We started here, and all of a sudden, we've gone all the way around the world, halfway around the world, and we're at this random location of a topic now. You know? <laughs> oh, boy. But, uh, yeah. It's just, uh, that's just about it. I mean, I've just been doing pretty well, I will say that. I, uh, haven't really much more, really. How much time is it? Really? Twelve minutes of... <laughs> you know, see, this is this is what I mean. If you actually were just in... And I, and you probably would imagine this to you. I, I, I imagine you know what I'm talking about, you know. If you ever had, let's say, uh, a presentation... If you can think back to, I don't know if you've uh, ever had any presentations back in your high school days. If you're if you're listening to this and you're not in high school yet, then I could probably set you up for something that might happen to you later. But there's a certain point in your life, I think, when you start talking. Uh, again, I'm not sure I'm not sure uh, how many of this may really apply to, but for me, it certainly does. As I got older, I find that even if I just talk, and I think I've been just talking for about a, uh, half a minute, a minute, whatever the short interval of time is, I'll look at the clock and realize it's actually dragged on for five minutes. It's happened almost everywhere. I've been to some presentations. I'll say I'm going to cap it at five. I end up going for ten. I do it at, I, I say I'll do ten, and ends up going fifteen, twenty. Recently, I had a meeting. We were supposed to do it just for an hour, and then eventually, because of my explanations and long windedness, I think I ended up doing that for two hours. So, I think the general ratio is: if I allot a certain time, I'm probably going to actually talk for about double that, roughly. Usually, about one and a half to double. But <laughs> it's just, it's funny. I mean, for this, this. Uh, I don't really know if you'd call this a podcast. I'd probably just call it just me sitting in a basement and talking. It's, again, if I say 10, 20 minutes, this could totally become 20 to 40 for all we know. But right now I think we're at the 13, 14 minute mark. And uh, it's just been, it's just really fun. I might do more of these, you know, just, just if, it, I think it might actually be really helpful, especially, you know, if, uh, if you're going across, uh, coming across really excited times maybe really low times, maybe very angry times, or joyful times, whatever the occasion, I guess. There might be something good. There could be some new insight I might start talking about and won't even realize I'll be talking about it that way. So yeah, I'm, I think this is really cool. Um, just to do this, obviously, it, it looks really funny. Again, just seeing, if you were sitting in here, probably through a one-way mirror, let's say if one of my basement concrete walls was actually a one-way mirror and you saw me, and if I was rolling tape on this with no audio, let's say... I show maybe an intro clip or something of me doing this, and uh, there's no audio, probably just some some generated music I'll be playing in the background. It probably would look really funny, and I guess this might be wide too if I were to go ahead and just uh, let this let this roll without video. Sometimes you know you get to visualize a little better. In some cases, not all cases. Uh, there, in in cases like probably 
some of my other previous videos, maybe, and many videos, I guess, they're, they're good. They're good with a video component, but sometimes even just the audio component, if you just want it to sit, probably you might be using this track just to sleep, for all we know. <laughs> And, you know, you, you could be anywhere. If you're on the road, though, right now, when you're listening to this, just be careful. Stay on the road. Keep an eye out. There could be a red light coming up ahead or something like that. So just to keep it safe. But anyway, regardless of the occasion, you know, sometimes even just audio might be pretty fun. So I might do a few more of these. We'll see how it turns out. But I think I've uh, gone through how much time? It's, uh, what, 15 minutes. My goodness. <laughs> just rolling around and sitting for about that time. This could actually be a good time killer, you know, if I'm sitting maybe in a, in a doctor's office or one of those waiting rooms and just uh, waiting for my name to be called up or whenever I go for a, uh, for a blood test. I might just do that. Sit down in the public area, go ahead, whip out my recorder. It's a portable recorder that I've got right now and just start talking. <laughs> oh boy, that'd be, it'd be really funny if I did that though, because <laughs> I just imagine the, uh, the reaction of the public, they'd probably think, what is this guy doing? What's he trying to do? Is he uh, recording? Is he spying? Is he auditing us? You know, or something like that. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll just go up to someone's house, whip this thing out, and make him feel super uncomfortable by just going, okay, so I'm sitting in this house, and we're doing something, you know, or or, or whip out a impromptu radio program. Good morning, we're going to be here now in the studio, just listening to... <laughs> stuff like that but anyways i'll i think i'll probably just uh, call it there in case you're probably still wondering what the whole point of this clip was i just wanted to have a chat so you know anyway i might try this up and uh, see what happens it was uh, great hopefully if you've made it this far well hey congratulations <laughs> but more so i guess thank you for listening most importantly i'd probably say uh, thanks for your support and being able to make it all the way to the end of this and if you really listen from start to finish so hey take care